And on the phone, I've got Cynthia Rosenblum. She lived across the street from this alleged killer, the, the husband, Randy Maidens, who is the husband of the wife, Rachel, the orthodontist. Cynthia, yeah, and you had a very strange encounter with Randy. Tell us about that. Yes, about three weeks before the murder, one afternoon, I heard my dog barking his alert bark. And I looked out behind my house and saw a man running in the forest along the property line about 40 feet from my back door. He was dressed all in black in a sweatsuit and a ski mask which was odd since the day was one of the very first warm days of spring. He was also wearing a black backpack shaped like a quiver. And I tracked him until he came up out of the woods at the edge of my property, and he was accompanied by two lab twelve trees of dogs. And he was startled to see me standing there looking at him, and I asked him, what are you doing? And he replied, and, you know, he's big with this statement like, do you think the weather will ever change? And I asked him again, what are you doing? And he said, I live right there. And indicated the house where the murder later occurred. So I asked him again, what are you doing? And he said, my wife is a doctor, and I promised her I would take the dogs for a walk, and I got lost. I thought to myself, it's that lie. But I said to him, I recognize your dogs, but it's pretty creepy looking out your window and see a man running through the forest. And he just laughed and walked away to the murder house. And he walked away, I recognized his profile. I knew he really was the man from that house. Do you, before this bizarre episode, did, what was he like as a neighbor? Did you know him at all? Uh, well, he appeared to avoid neighbor behavior. Like he would not look up or wave, you know, like your other neighbors do when you walk or drive past. And I'd actually never seen his face straight on before, just his profile. And he appeared obsessed with his quality of his lawn. But I never once saw him with his daughter in the yard or anywhere else. I didn't know he had a daughter. Uh, there were a number of stories circulating to the neighborhood about him getting drunk and threatening his wife, but I never witnessed it. Wow. Uh -huh. Then, of course, he, he went from the, to me, he went from this obsession with his lawn to the bizarre behavior of the speed on Ninja. <laughs> and then, of course, it ended up with him allegedly crossing over into murderous behavior. Could, Cynthia, could you ever imagine something like this in your neighborhood? No, it's my understanding that the Governor's Club, as a neighborhood, has the greatest concentration of wealth per household in the state of Tennessee. There are country music stars and professional athletes whose names you would recognize who live there. There are security guards with gated entrances, a patrol of neighborhood 24-7. So, you know, you really don't know who's living across the street or behind 